by Kettleman. We discuss the rules in the dressing room. This is for the IDF 12 round eliminator. Okay, your trunks are okay here. Your trunks are okay here. All right, as we discussed before, obey my commands at all times, but protect yourself at all times. And anyway, touch gloves. Best of luck. Let's get to work. You know, I guess it makes sense. The Boston fans. Uh you're booing the opponent of Freddie Roach's fighter, but I didn't expect that, Ray. <laughs> it makes sense, though. I'm like, why are they booing Kit Galahad? Like, what, what do they have? Oh, okay, now I get it. Chris Maddox with the interview with Freddie Roach before again, an icon here in the in the Boston area, a terrific amateur. Won 26 of his first 27 fights as a pro. Fought okay, here or at the Boston Garden, the old Garden, and we're underway. Again, Toka Khan Clary in the black trunks. Kit Galahad in the white trunks. A lot Watch at his stake. Foot. Off his foot. I was about to make that. Make that move. Wow. He stepped. Off his foot. You see what's happening here? Yeah. Gene Del Bianco immediately saying that as that has happened now hey, several times. Great, great, great. Del Bianco looking up very closely. It's a wide stance, isn't it, Ray? It really is. But you know, fighting a southpaw is is pretty is pretty awkward, if you will, because everything is coming from a different from position. Yeah, he's spread out and always lunging and moving in. This, again, Battle of South Paws. Will be a chess match. You see even uh, Kit Galahad, as Let he comes go. in, Conclari hopping go. over, trying to hop over that front foot. As now, Galahad switches Off back to foot, Orthodox. This is going to happen time and time again. Watch the step on his foot. Galahad. Tell you what, you watch the feet, I'll watch the hands. Because oh, <laughs> you made me look down right there. Bop, I'm like, okay, Mr. Jeb. This will be interesting, and now Del Bianco now. wants to take control of this immediately. You watch, pushing, you watch your head, okay? And watch your, your clip on his foot, Fox! Oh, nice move there by Gene Del Bianco, experienced referee. He's had 131 <laughs> professional fights already. And uh, we have him well mic'd, so you can hear him clearly. But he's trying to establish some control right away. Not that it's dirty, but it's just awkward. It will lead to a lot of problems in the ring. Now had active. Spinning away, Khan Clary throwing his hands immediately. You can see the level of aggression right away from Toka Khan Clary. And eventually, Ray Leonard, I'll ask you, should Kid Galahad be boxing Orthodox or Southpaw, or do you like him mixing and matching? You know what? I never had problems with uh, Southpaws. Um, you just have to take your time and really throw looping straight right hands, left hooks. Those are the best punches to be thrown. Kid Galahad measuring. You can see a little bit of length in his jab as he stalks in. Again, in Sheffield, they train very differently. So Kid Galahad, as he comes in, does uh, kind of what is the norm in Sheffield is Hanklari with a little success moving in. Hanklari does, uh, or Galahad rather, does not do a lot of sparring. Said he spars like about every other day, about six rounds for a couple of weeks. And that they don't go for headshots, they don't do open wars in sparring. What do you think of that, right? That's, that's something different. I've never, you know, I mean, I sparred a lot. Mm -hmm. For that feel, for that timing. Kid Galahad coming in, scoring some shots right to the head. Not, not a lot on them, but scoring shots. And now connects as Han Clary looked down and got caught twice to the face. Gene Del Bianco with his hands full. Ready now for round two. Coming off an awkward first round, IBF featherweight eliminator. Both of you, please let's stop. It's an unfolding, unfortunate drama. You know, a punch that really uh, against a southpaw is the left hook and a looping a straight hand, straight right hand, like Floyd Mayweather always do, mm. or a looping right hand. Those are the main punches uh, to fend off or attack the southpaw. Conclare, a little aggression there with some success. You know what was strange at the hey, end of that first round, go, Ray, go. Ray, was that Toka hey, Khan hey, hey, got hey, caught a bunch hey, of times hey, for, like, very little reason. You know, it was kind of garbage time at the end of the round. He got caught with a bunch of shots. He didn't get hurt, but those are scoring blows. Those are scoring blows. I see Clary connecting again, throwing out a left hand after the jab. But you can see Kit Galahad is is crafty. You know, he, he's playing with the timing. He moves in. He's he, he changes the pace of his punches as well. You know, he's speaking with... Um, Freddie Roach, he indicated to me that, you know, he's really trying to instill 
uh, and Con Clary confidence. He wants to put that back into his into his mindset. It's very important. Absolutely, as he steps up in class, and again, the featherweight division is star-studded. One of the better divisions in all of boxing, so to the winner, they are likely to get a mandatory spot. Again, you would hope they would eventually get a shot at the IBF belt at 126. Josh Warrington has that belt. The real champ, considered to be the real champ, that's Leo Santa Cruz. Carl Frampton in the division, Gary Russell, Oscar Valdez, Abner Morris. There's, there's lots of top-shelf hey, opponents, some of them with belts. Although I think it's safe to say Leo Santa Cruz has established himself as the featherweight champion. So you see Gene Del Bianco with a warning. You give warnings and then you say, look, then I'll start taking points away, which he just did. Galhead jumps back in with a jab. Hey, 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 watch your heads, both of you. Left hand fires over the top by Khan Clary. I'm so busy watching this whole mess. <laughs> nice stiff jab by Khan Clary. I, I, I'm not even scoring, so I'm, I'm sure we'll have people here doing it. And you can break score your rounds at home, break, 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 but break, uh, break. I, I don't know if I can help you. Well, again, when you fight a southpaw, it, you get close and it's awkward. It's off balance. You can't, you can't, it's hard to time your punches unless you have Fast hands, extremely fast hands. Tangle again. Toka Khan Clary in the black trunks. Again, a little bit of success in this round. Some harder shots landed. Boxing uh, slightly more conventionally than Kid Galahad, as we've done two rounds. When he was six years old, his father was murdered in Philadelphia that year. Raised in foster homes and in the streets, he says. The, one of the foster homes brought him to New England. Now Kid Galahad getting that seemingly last and final warning before points will be taken away. I guess you, you, you've got to establish that, although I don't know if Kid Galahad can change his footwork, right? Well, I want to see, I, I'm trying to see whether or not it's intentional, but it appeared to be that it's, again, it's just awkward, but it's been happening too many times. See, now there he did it again. He's, I don't think he means to do it, it's just an awkward stance with the southpaw. And they're both just matching up right on top of each other's lead foot again and again. And the key is to keep your left foot outside his right foot. That's the solution. Well, neither guy is really even circling, right? Right? I mean, if they were pivoting, circling, yeah. it, it, you could change it up a little bit. They're in the same mode constantly, just, you know, immediately matching up and engaging with each other straight on. Good little uppercut there by... Con Clary, take a look at the power punches landed and thrown, and Kid Galahad with the event advantage. I'm, hey, I'm hey, a little hey, surprised. Come on, break. Hey, 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 hey. You know, sometimes you don't even know the referee is in there. And then there's this fight. Galahad in pursuit now lands a body shot. They're not, it's not big punches, punches that, that hurt because they're not getting their body into it, mm -hmm. like the torque. Yeah, I even think that those, you know, power, the power punch stats that we had, you know, make of it what you will. I, that's not, I, I think, totally indicative of what's happening in the ring. You can see what's happening in front of you. But it is awkward as Kim Galahad tries to move in, landing some shots, and a left over the top by Toka Khan Clary. So maybe the warning did help because we haven't seen any of that in the last minute. So, you know, I, I meant you know, Gene Del Bianco is, is, you know, putting his will on this fight, but he's trying to clean it up. Well, it also reminded him not to, to do that because a point would have been taken. And so just say, yeah, maybe in Kid Galahad's mind now, he's just got to be a little more careful, cannot land on that foot. If he does, you know, avoid it, get out of there. So, uh, again, all those uh, admonishments seem to have had a, an impact on the fight, and that's for the better. But the grabbing and the moving, they, no one has established dominance yet. Yep. Final 10 seconds of this round three. Hey. Galahad 
Kit Galahad's given name is Abdul Barry Awad. Back, please, he did back, introduce please, himself please. as Barry. Kit Galahad is pretty catchy. Yeah, Elvis Presley as a, a fighter. I like Barry. In the 1962 <laughs> film, yeah, so does Barry. It was Abdul Barry Awad, Kid Galahad in the white. See the, uh, the kid on the waistband. In a big fight in his career as well. U.S. debut for Barry, or Kid Galahad. He's never fought outside of the U.K., although in Orea, that used to be a thing. Hey, no, you've got to come to the United States as we go down this road of England being a hotbed of boxing. There's going to be a lot of good fighters that don't have to come to the United States or will only come here if the matches are right and the money is right. And they're big names. Yep. Obviously, Anthony Joshua has not had to, uh, you know, come to right. Las Vegas or New York. Right, he hasn't had to do that. He's putting 80,000 people in a soccer stadium, so he can do just fine in London. Good left hand by Toka Conclari. And Kid Galahad answers back. Conclari just a little more conventional right, than Kit Galahad. I mean, Galahad. I mean, it's not like Kit Galahad is Prince Nassim Hamed like He's really nothing like him, but that... that it's just a different style. He's doing his own thing, seemingly. He's not He's not dancing to the same rhythm that Khan Clary is. You know, style, again, styles make fights, and I'll say that a million times, and what's happening, they still haven't figured each other out. Right. They're not comfortable enough to let their pants go because mm -hmm. they've yet to do that in combinations. And it is interesting in that it is it is a chess match in there. These guys, watch you can see the level way. of skill watch and experience. There's a reason yeah, why they've fought, you know, a combined 50 fights, and there's been one loss between the two. Why they're on the move up. They've been able to figure out their opponents. They work hard, and that's why they're here today. Get two good body shots. Kit Galahad landing those shots. Those are scoring shots. So it's not as conventional, some of the shots not as hard, but if you're landing and you're a judge, well, the judge had to be tallying those up. Clash of heads. Well, get, Kid Galahad walked in with his hands down, with his chin up. It's not a good thing to do. Good sharp left hand by Khan Clary. Galahad back conventional. Again, he's been fighting conventionally most of this fight. Opened up as a southpaw. Now he's back to southpaw. Let him up. Stop that. No, hook him and hold him. Demetrius Andrade in our main event against Walter Katandakwa. And Irish star Katie Taylor has been moved up to the co-feature fighting Cindy Serrano. Because as uh, we heard Chris and... K earlier, lots of Irish fans in Boston, and Katie Taylor sells tickets. So they have moved up to the co feature as this one opens us up here on the nighttime version of our fights here in Boston on the zone. Hey, hey, when you are, when you're back, hit him up, okay? All right, now here. Don't let him come in there with those elbows. Right here, I see the there is that left hand over the top, and a jab follows nicely done by Khan Clary. I just don't see the power. They, they're not exhi exhibiting power. They're not putting their body behind. Either fighter, you mean? Either yeah. fighter, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Galahad, though, Bang on. Well, let's listen to Angle. I do like that from Engel. Breathing, you know, <laughs> breathing is where it starts, right? Exactly. That's good. Breathe, relax. You know, you're in a big fight. You've got to manage your energy. What I do like, Brian Kenny and Ray Leonard here, what I like about Kid Galahad Ray is that uh, he is thinking and he changes the pace of his punches. That's that's quite advanced, isn't it? Well, yes, but, all, but both fighters have talent. No question about that. I just like them to see them a little more aggressive, mm -hmm. a little more punches with conviction. Right. Uh, it would seem Khan Clary would get the better of it if that happens, although Galahad is it's pretty fast in there. Again, and crafty. Not just going to allow Khan Clary to come in. As Khan Clary tries a little jab left hand. Still measuring. Still finding the distance. And now we see a little more aggression as the punches start to flow. Hey, what, hey, uh, hey, hey, stop, Kid stop, Galahad, hey. according to CompuBox, hey, Dad, has what, landed man. 11 more punches. Again, so it's... It's fairly close. Again, Galahad, I think, is, is more content to touch. Just wants to touch you, try to get the range. 
as a good hard left hand comes out from Conglari. You know, and I'm sure that's Galahad going to the body. If Galahad feels he's having success, perhaps he sits down on his punches a little bit more. We haven't seen that yet. Well, they're both doing, this, doing the same thing. Uh, they have to let go of more than two punches. Three, four, mm -hmm. five, six. That's what's, that one will be effective. You know what else, too, right? These guys are, to your point, these guys are 126 pounds. Uh, this, is, this isn't 168. You know, at this, way, you know, when you when I talk about the top guys in the division, you know, like Abdomares, the champ, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton, Gary Russell Jr., the punches fly. They're throwing 110, 120 punches around. These guys are not doing that. That's so true. They're not, they, they throw them one, two punches. Mm -hmm. And at this weight, speed is important. Combinations are a must. Yeah, I like, again, right, I, we're, we're going back and forth now. on this. We want to see the hands Thank fly, but you. there should also be an appreciation of uh, the thinking man's fight. And certainly, Kit Galahad is, uh, is, break, break, is break, different. Break, break, break. Listen, Not dancing to the same tune. Good body shot there by Con Clary. Both fighters are loosening up. And uh, the fact that, again, they had they had the talent to to relink to throw a lot of punches. They're not doing it. They warmed up. They yeah. warmed up. Again, it's a title eliminator. They'll fight 12. I wonder at some point. And I'm I'm just wondering if your kid Galahad and you think oh, if, if Dominic Engel right. thinks, hey, we might not Listen, be winning they, rounds. They break, they break. I wonder if he comes out of his shot. Well, right, right now, they don't want to open themselves up to, to an attack. That's round five. Galahad comes out a little more aggressively right out of the bell after hearing this corner. The Galahad presents a puzzle, however. Galahad has also been fairly inactive. He failed a drug test in 2015. He was suspended for a period of time. He's won six fights in the last two and a half years since. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen, but again, gentlemen. that uh, hey, put hey, a dent in his career, watch slowed him please. up, slowed his rise. Heard Chris Mannix mentioned the one loss from Con Clary. He's won six straight since September of 2016. That uh, first round KO loss to John Gemino. He's 19 and 0 going into that fight. You know, one thing fighters we know if we lost or what lost or won that round, and it's just instinctive. We know that. So. When these guys sit back right, hey, hey, in the hey, corner, hey, hey, they know whether or not they won that round or lost that round. So what are you saying? I'm saying fighters know. <laughs> so do you think, is, is Con Clary thinking he's winning these rounds or do you think he's, he's losing I have no idea yeah, what I he's thinking. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking because I'm not sure. I think he's slightly hey, getting hey, hey, the better of it. I don't hey, see Kid hey, Galahad stop. winning these right, rounds. So uh, but stop, you know, right, possibly. Stop, stop, the, the rounds are so close. You know, and even now, let's see if Con Clary in the final half uh, of this hey, round, hey, second half of that round, he's going to get a warning here, can't hold the back of the head. But let's see if he can keep that level of aggression that he had the first 15 seconds. So far, he, he came in firing, but has not had much success. Galahad working the body, even if he's just touching him. I love that. I mean, just, yeah, go to the body. With any force, just right. land the punch. His, Con Clary is, you know, he's not there just to be hit either. He's not, he has his guard up high. He's defensively responsible. This is a top amateur. He had 119 amateur wins, won a national gold gloves title in 2010. So he's skilled. He's not going to get hit in the head, but then the body will present itself. Kid Galahad does take advantage. You know, this is going to be a tough fight if, it, if this continues to score because, I mean, the rounds are just go. so close and they're. Very few definitive punches, no, right. no big punches.
We have three more fights to come here. I mentioned Demetrius Andrade in the main event, Katie Taylor, Cindy Serrano in the co-feature. Here at the TD Garden, round seven, Brian Kenny, Sugar Ray Leonard here ringside with you. Sergio Mora will join us later. LZ Granderson is here, Kay Adams, Chris Mannix, the whole crew. Pleasure to be here with you. Let him go, both of you, let each other go. <laughs> He's polite about it. Okay. Now, in comes Conclari. And Gene Del Bianco, the referee, go. what he did there Come that on, I like is Thank fight you. out of don't it. You don't need me, fight out of it. Off his foot. Time. Oh no, that could no, be no. it. Yep. Second warning, second warning. Next time he loses a point. You know, I like, what do you think of no that, Ray? Time. I like that. I think I've got, yeah, he hasn't had to say it in a while. I thought he was going to take a point away. I'm glad he did. Absolutely. He did the right thing. Made the right call. Because now you can you can go back and do it again. Like, if it happens again, then you can say, look, I, I gave you every benefit of the doubt. And I like that he didn't just jump in there and go letter of the law. Like, I know I warned you before. <laughs> You're not dealing with one of your kids. You're dealing with a fighter. And you can say, all right. You know, it's been a few minutes. It's been like two rounds since I've had to warn you. So that is it. That's the last time. And now you don't have him putting an imprint on the fight because, as we mentioned, these fights could be close, and one point deducted could make a huge difference. That does not work with my kids. That didn't work? <laughs> no. I, you know, Ray, you know how many times I was, this is the last time? I'm telling you, <laughs> it's the last time. I have to get up off this couch. Hey, gentlemen, break the left fight out of it. A little loose tape on the uh, right hand, right near the glove of Tom Clary. They're eventually going to have to deal with that. Maybe they can get through this round, but it's dangling. See if they can get through this. A minute and a half left. Stiff jab from Conclar. He's trying right, let's break a lot of Thank different you. tactics to try to solve the kid Galahad puzzle. I mean, what, the, what's the, the phrase? You know, again, I, I, you know, I remember uh, Moochie Starling, Marlon Starling, who trained under Eddie Futch and reminded of that. I think of Eddie Futch when I see Freddie Roach. Right. And, he, and Starling was a cutie, right? Oh, he was a cutie pie. He was this crafty, Shifty and Galahad is kind of out of that mold. Like he's just not there being a tough guy, firing off shots. He's just going to make things difficult for you. He's going to be slick. I spoke with Marlon Starling just before I came here. Really? Yes. He always calls me. He wants to fight. <laughs> what, what, wants to fight? <laughs> yes, you? <he> or <laughs> just fight somewhere? <laughs> me. You. Right, well, you're the payday. Yeah. Right, Everyone right, wants, to, right, right, right. wants a piece of you. <laughs> Round seven. Toka Khan Clary in the black trunks, Kid Galahad out of Sheffield, England in the white. All right, gentlemen, excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Khan Clary fighting out of Providence, Rhode Island, so has some fans here and also trained by Freddie Roach. Hey, watch your head, man. Khan Clary with a little flurry here toward the end. Again, both of these fighters, long, hard road to get here. Both fighters leaving their countries for a better life. Hold on. Time! Go back. Neutral. Neutral right now. Go on, Freddie. Thank you, sir. Uh, they're going to address that Let's tape, tape it. right now. Yeah, I'm presuming that Humphrey Bogart wasn't no, singing like I Elvis, mean, right? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> I don't think so. If he was, think I might, so. it might be a hard pass for me. LZ bringing some added information to the spectacle. Round eight scheduled for 12. Hey, IBF title eliminator. Stop. Again, a lot is on the line. It's been awkward throughout. Clashing of the heads, you can see the, the feet stepping on each other. Uh, right now, that's that's Con Clary doing well, that. Yes, both are doing the same thing. At least they moved out. Con Clary now has him pinned into the corner, firing off, missed with the left hand. Galahad moves his head well. Again, he's not missing because he's missing. It's a man moving his head. Galahad quite good at that. Jab just missed. But it is a higher level of aggression from Con Clary. You know, oddly enough, you know, I mentioned some of the top fighters in the division, and there's a lot of skill there. 
these guys would be good opponents for, I think, all of those guys. Because they're all, you know, from Leo Santa Cruz on down, Gary Russell, they're volume punchers. And these guys would benefit from that. But these two fighting each other, it's just awkward. It's, it's again, it's, I hate to say it, but it, it's what it is. The styles make fights. Galahad now moving in. Landed some shots. Stop swinging them around. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Sophie. Stop swinging them around. Come on. At this point, you've got to try to impress the judges. Now, this will all tally up. Uppercut shot there Both by Conclaro. I was anticipating a lot more punches thrown with convictions to the body. Speed. Watch your head, Two uppercuts have landed this round from Conclaro. So by changing the repertoire just a bit, he's had a little more success. That last one landed flush, and that has to impress a judge. And that's what these guys need to do. Yeah, unlikely anybody's getting knocked out here. I mean, Ray Lenny, when you were fighting, you were known as a guy who had his mind on the score and the judges, right? Or am I incorrect on that? Well, no, no, because I would also throw a number of punches, you know, before the round ends. Mm -hmm. But, again, they, they still not, they're not comfortable enough to release those hands, those combinations. Well, also not trying angles, right? I mean, that's another thing, you're not working straight up. They could go side to side, but that's not just that's not the cut of their jib. And when they are in, when they're inside, either one, they're not throwing body shots to slow the man down. Left hand landed there after two jabs fell short. Galahad moving straight back. As they used to say in Katska, like a train on the track. Don't move straight back. Don't move straight back. Train is coming. Good shot, good combination. Body shots answered there by Khan Clary as we get close to the bell and the end of round eight. Let's listen into the corners as these are crucial rounds now. Why can you let your hands go? Right? Down here, when you fall in, when you fall in, right? Yeah. Just go in the middle. Just go in the middle. You're moving, okay? Say that again? The upper guy's right in the middle, okay? okay. Right. You let him hold you. Understand? Do not. Right. Don't get drawn in with him. So I'll put your shots together nice and smoothly. Watch your, watch your feet. But get that jab working with him. Don't wait for him. He's hitting an old hit. Ping, ping. Just be accurate with that jab. Let's get the jab working this round there, Barry. Do you understand? Don't be looking back. Focus, watch. Push off. Boom. Get outside of him. Just push every back for getting for outside so he's him off the back. Yeah? yeah. Come on. So Dominic Engel specific there in the corner. Yeah with precisely what he wants to see from Kid Galahad. Round nine scheduled for 12. Again, we are underway here in Boston. Brian Kenny with Sugar Ray Leonard. And that is Kid Galahad in the white trunks out of Sheffield, England. Toka Khan Clary in the black out of Providence, Rhode Island. Let him go now. come on. No point deductions as of yet. Plenty of warnings from Gene Del Bianco. Well, you know, both coins told their fighters the right thing to do. And Galahad, Kid Galahad, used hey, a jab, but he also hey, should have been using that jab okay, earlier, okay, early okay, round. Uh, with uh, with Clary, Clary, just th let, those, let those hands go. That's what Freddie Roach is saying. Let those hands go. Combinations. Okay. Here are the punches through eight rounds. Look at that. Dead even. That's, that's hard to do. Within three? <laughs> Punches thrown right, and dead go. even landed. Again, it's an inexact science, but that's still remarkable. How does that happen? Well, it can happen, but it's unlikely. Probability is not there. Decent body shot there. Now, I'm, again, we're, we're calling the fight. Uh, I'll often say as we go along here on DAZN, uh, I'm calling the fight. I'm not judging it. You can get an indication. I try to give indication. Good body work there by Galahad of, of how the fight is going. But I, I, I can't tell you who's winning these rounds. Ray Leonard, are you getting a better indication as we've gotten a little deeper? I, you know, I'm, I'm bad at math, but this is close. This is a close fight. Depends on who, st who steals the last round, if it goes that far. Let him go, both of you. Let each other go. Well, again, you could have it a, a competitive fight and give all 12 rounds to one guy. You know, I, I tell people all the time, like, how did you have it? How could you? That's a ripoff, and people are upset. It's controversial. It's like, you could have a wide card and say that's competitive. Every round was won by a hair by this one guy. 
<laughs> You're not supposed to do make good rounds. Even if you think, hey, I've just gave the last two to Conquari, I should give one to Galahad. You see a jab landed there by Galahad, but you, you are not supposed to do that as a professional judge. No make goods. You, you don't try to even it out. A little more distance now. Both fighters trying to find a pocket. Now Galahad starts to fire. Conclari and connecting there is Galahad. Now we start to go. Now we're starting to go. Now we're starting to see something here. This is what it's all about. This is this is what you do. Show the world who you are. Good uppercut there by Conclari. Caught Galahad on the way in. Yeah, both fighters digging in a little bit more and letting the hands go. Someone that asserts themselves, that's a slip. Could get something big here in this fight. Del Bianco all over it, knows it's a slip. I believe it was at about the 45 second mark, maybe it was one minute to go, where both fighters dug in, planted, and started firing at each other. That got exciting. Let's see what happens here in the championship rounds. IBF title eliminator at 126 pounds. Kit Galahad in the white, Toka Khan Clary in the black. Hey, listen. Tape. Loose tape again, so I was concerned. I didn't see someone jumping in with their head. Again, it, the referee, Gene Del Bianco, has been very active throughout this fight. To his credit, he has not taken a point away for anything. So that is that is crucial in this fight. That he doesn't unnecessarily impose his will upon the scoring. He can impose his will on the on the flow, right, Ray, on the action, but not the scoring. Not the scoring. You know, um, Freddie Roach and uh, Con Clary's corner said, go for it, go for it. Let those hands go, let those hands go. And Clary has been a little more aggressive, yeah. but is it effective aggressive now? Well, you know what? It, it's so Kid, close. Just to his credit now, like to Kid Galahad's credit, he doesn't make it easy. You can't, you just can't touch yeah. him. You just can't, you know, take his head off. He's not there to be hit. And then he comes back himself. Yep. He's able to jump back in now. Galahad firing a jab and can't get through the guard. Lands perhaps a good body shot there. And another jab, but some of those are being blocked. But even Conclari fired off a, a hard left hand, but... Galahad just got out of the way. It's not getting hit, and you do waste a lot of energy, lose a lot of energy when you miss a big shot. Oh, you do definitely. You definitely lose a lot of energy. Now Galahad tries with an uppercut, shifts over, fighting southpaw now. He has moved effortlessly back and forth. I wonder how he makes, now he's back to conventional. I wonder how he makes that decision, Ray. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just intuitive, it's yeah. instinctive. It just happens. Right. You just feel it. I'm looking for a different angle. I, I'm kind of, I mentioned earlier, I didn't mean to chastise them hey, by saying, hey, get some straight, angles, man. move your feet, move around side to side. But that's Galahad's version of that, isn't it? And like he, he'll change the angle by changing his body type. Will he change, you know, he's not thinking, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. He just, mm. his body reacts to just the mind. Galahad a little more active here. Letting his hands go, trying to get some points. And a lot of these are being blocked to the head. Conclari keeps his hands up, but that caught him. Galahad moves out of the way. Ga Galahad, Galahad is there to be hit. And he moves his head very well. Yep. Up a great upper body movement. Good body shot there, Conclari on the way in. See, the body will be there. Head will move, but the body will be there. Maybe that's the solution. Great, gentlemen. Why? I, I know both of you. Watch your head. Come on, we'll talk about that. Yes, we did, Gene. <laughs> We've had a running conversation. All right, gentlemen, break. Break, 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 break. He's earning his money. I mean, there's no question. Gene Del Bianco, <laughs> I mean, whatever, whatever he's getting, he's, he didn't just go in there and, all right, guys, break, and you can move away and dance around, and he, he's had to work. Two more rounds after this. Both fighters trying to pick up the pace, pick up the volume. Um, I had a better feeling that round, Ray Leonard, from Kid Galahad. Absolutely. A lot more aggressive and effective. Yeah. Bit of cold water. I want that water now. I want some cold water up here. Right. Perfect, Barry. You good? You can do another two rounds full on? Perfect. That's what you got to do. But do not walk onto anything with him. 
That was perfect when you put it on him, he didn't know what to do. Do you understand? Yeah? Look at that. Put your head forward. Lift it back, lift his head up. Yeah, here we go. Go, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we'll wipe it, we'll wipe it. Give me a towel killer, quick. So listen. Take your time, nothing stupid. Do not get caught with stupid shots. Keep it nice and short, we when you play the top Ladies and gentlemen, go, 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 come on. You're fine, you're fine, this is your home. Let's go to work, let's go to work. Let's go. Hey, please, thank you. Fuck. Close fight. IBF title eliminator, the winner, is expected to get a shot at the IBF belt at 126 pounds. That is held by Josh Warrington. Either way, it's a big fight as the winner here will be able to move up. If there is a winner. 11th round, so two rounds to go, scheduled for 12, and it is close. Our, our ringside observers that we have here, uh, just ask them as we went to the corners, I, you know, am I missing something, or is this this close? Could you have the rounds either way? And it, it appears, Ray Leonard, that, yeah, it, it could be that close. Here's power punches now in Galahad with, um, I, I wouldn't say a sizable advantage, but that, that's, that's an advantage through 11 rounds. You know, I, I feel it's just, it hasn't been a compelling fight. But no. it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty damn close. Well put. Right. It, it's not scintillating, but it's not like they're not trying. They're, they're, they're working. The styles are, are such that it makes this a bit of a mess. Kid Galahad moves in. It seems that he is he's content to change pace, just do some touching, and there's a shot landed to the head. Didn't do a lot of damage, but still right. a scoring blow. Hey, Kid Galahad is, is a lot more aggressive. He is indeed a lot more aggressive. He was back to southpaw. I mean, they do have a different approach in Sheffield. Again, they may, I mentioned that uh, they don't spar the same way. They, they try to spare themselves unnecessary violence and headshots in sparring. Uh, Kid Galahad said, you know, likes to save himself, so he's in peak condition the, the night of the fight. You know, sparring just about every other day, a couple of rounds. <laughs> Sounds like they you know, would never pass in Philadelphia, but it's working for him. He's done well in this fight. Combination from Kid Galahad again. Uh, maybe some splitting the guard, some not. Well, he's well. They're not all landing, but Conclari comes in and he landed with that left hand, and again right off the jaw. Didn't they get everything on it, it, but it caught him. They, they a little did. success. Conclari can be in, maybe emboldened by that. It was a good burst of energy with yep. punches. Finding his range, taps him with a jab. They fight out of it, gentlemen. Good direction there by Del Bianco, the referee. Now he has to step in. Galahad has had success going to the body earlier in this fight. Answers with a counter jab as Conclari missed with that shot. And Galahad is starting to get some timing down as well. Galahad makes him miss, and now he answers back with a, a little flurry. All right, gentlemen, fight out of it or I'll break you. Okay, gentlemen, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Final seconds, round 11, here in Boston. And one more round to go, a frustrating night for Toka Conclari. It's here, Freddie Roach and Dominic Engel in the corner for the last time. In time up and stop him, do not. Have a punch up with him, you're chinning your head, do you understand? You work out of them corners, that's what you do. Yeah, you work out the corners, you don't fight out the corners. Do you understand? But beautiful that round, you put it on him. Do you understand? That's, ter that's turning him back into, into negative mode. Do you understand? Thanks, ref. Right, come on, beautiful. Stick with that in there, nothing stupid. He's gonna come in here, when he just slip and slide and run. Right. This is it, okay? This is it. We need this badly, okay? Put him on his ass, will ya? Come on, Joker. Right Come in, on, baby. I know you got it in you. I know you got it in you. Interesting. 12th and final round here at the TD Garden. Dominic Engel, nothing stupid. And it really got into a little of the psychological games that Kit Galahad can play. But said, you know, do not fire out of the corner, work out of the corner, and Freddie Roach, well, that was clear. Kid Galahad moves in, and he's scoring. This point right now, 
go for Bill. Yep. Let it all out. Freddie Roach saying that we need this badly. Put him on his ass. See if he can do it. I doubt it. It's been hard to catch Kit Galahad flush. He is not there. It shifts back to southpaw again. He is just not there to take the shots. Moves his head definitely. Moves his feet just out of range. Fighting smartly, defensively. Let him go! And doing just enough, possibly, to win this fight, outpointing Con Clary. I believe. I don't know. Certainly, from the corners, Engel believes his man is winning. Freddie Roach believes his man is not winning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Galahad landing, and landing to the body as well. So he's just tapping to the head, throws in some body shots, and those are scoring, and he leads this round. Well, good double jab there by Con Clary. Galahad, he has control over the fight. At this point, and for the last couple of rounds, he took control. Mm -hmm. By, by the slight by a slight margin slight, it's, not slight, dominance, yes. it's not mastery or dominance yeah. no it's it's you're just getting the better of it perhaps it's what i'm watching it's what i'm observing yeah no i'm with you okay, stop. seems to be getting the better of it and just in that little sequence that we saw he's scoring and that's when you say oh well, he's effective but is it effective aggressiveness mm -hmm. harry missing with jabs Abdul Barry Awad, a.k.a. Kid Galahad, looking for a shot at a belt at 126 pounds. Khan Clary has one final minute, we believe, to change that. Maybe, maybe not. Final seconds, you know, Engel saying nothing stupid. If he thinks he's got a points lead, he doesn't want to see his man get caught. Look, Con Clary can can wrap a little bit. If you, if, if you can hit him, forearm up to the jaw by Kid Galahad. And Gene Del Bianco, who has been very active in this fight, is about to get out of this without any point deductions, and that could make a difference on the cards. Based on their styles, this was a good fight. It just wasn't ex mm -hmm. too exciting. Less than exhilarating, but spirited. Yes. Good chest match all around. And excellent work there by Kid Galahad of Sheffield, England, who jumps up to the crowd. Maybe, maybe not. Con Clary is frustrated, certainly. Freddie Roach looks frustrated. Now they share some sportsmanship and mutual respect. It was well fought, to your point, Ray Leonard, well fought, chess match throughout, uh, and neither fighter was going to allow the other to take over. No no one dominated the fight. Yep. Uh, they each had moments, uh, but again, I always say, styles make fights. And it was awkward from the get-go. The judges are Steve Clark, Gary Litchfield, and Jod Matfis. Uh, we're here in Massachusetts, and we'll see the results. Uh, and look, judging a fight, you even alluded to it, Sugar Ray Leonard, earlier, by saying trying to figure out exactly what happens in any particular sequence and any particular round, this is not an exact science. No. You, you, get an, you, you try to get an indication of who's getting the better of it, but a lot of times the fighters don't know. We, we don't know when the hands are flying, and... It's difficult, so I always just try to tell fans, look, you think, you think there's controversy sometimes. No, there's no controversy. It's an inexact way to measure who won a fight. It's the way it goes. Especially when it's close. It becomes so subjective. Yep. So we try to make it objective, and if you see that, look at, like, total punches landed. There's, like, there's no, di there's no discernible difference. And Kid Galahad, who I th we believe got the better of it, he was landing softer shots. I, you know, I can feel confident in saying that. More jabs from Con Clary, more jabs thrown. He's a little more conventional. And power punches such that it is going to Galahad. But, you know, that's a, a little misleading because it's not like Galahad is landing with more power. He's not. Con Clary was landing with more power. So they will add this up carefully. 
<laughs> I believe we have a decision now. IBF title eliminator. Let's go to the ring and David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' score totals. Gary Litchfield and John Mathis both scored about 118 to 110. Steve Clark scored this contest 115 to 113. All for your winner by unanimous decision from Sheffield, England, Tim!